Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I want to talk about something. It is cold, damp, dreary, and I've seen multiple, well now it's starting to rain a little bit more. Let me get a truck. I have seen multiple videos, and so have you, on these so-called super shelters, which is basically a souped up lean-to. Sorry guys, we're trying to get in here. Um, I don't know who came up with the concept that these super shelters with, you know, three sides and a roof on there with a nice raised up bed and a lean-to fire out front of you, I mean with a, you know, reflective fire out front, it's going to keep you warm. You are going to stay cold, you're going to stay damp, because the rain and the snow and the wind is going to blow in on you. You know, if you're in a survival mode and it's just a temporary, you know, make you a lean-to. Put a reflector fire. But if it's going to be a long-term survival, you want a roof with four walls and you want some type of fire inside. I mean, you can make a small fireplace out of the stone around. Or you can find something, uh, a 55-barrel barrel drum and make a little wood stove out of it. Real easy. But people who are making these so-called super shelters and think they're going to survive a SHTF situation in those, they're in fantasy land. Because you cannot, like right now, it's just a, it's a drizzle. You know, it's a kind of heavy drizzle. But that stuff's going to get your sleeping bag. It's going to get all your gear wet because the wind's going to blow in there. Now, somebody's going to say, oh, you can put um, plastic up. Yeah, you can. But you're going to take a, a chance of one of those embers popping and melting your plastic and burning your shelter down. Why not, if, you're going to, if it's going to be a long term, why not build something that's going to keep you warm? It's going to keep your gear dry. It's going to give you... A feeling of security with having a fire four walls a roof and a fire inside so you don't have to worry about you know stuff like that but I just do not understand I think it's more of a YouTube gimmick you know you see these people on here making these super shelters and their and all that stuff it's a gimmick i mean nobody with common sense is going to put their family or put their self in that long term short term a little lean to with a reflective fire yeah that'd get you by but long term why waste the energy and the material building a three-sided structure with it wide open so the wind and the rain and the snow and the mosquitoes and whatever could get to you real easy. Me, I want four walls roof with some kind of heat source and cooking source inside. You know, that's just me. You know, look at the pioneers. Look at their, look at their survival shelters. Four walls, roof. Look at the Indians. A teepee surrounded with a fire inside. It's not hard to to realize what's going to work and what's not going to work. And these super shelters, as they're called, will not work in a long-term SHTF situation. You build those, you're wasting your time because you're going to stay damp. You're going to stay cold. You're going to you're going to stay miserable you can get hypothermia you can get you, you you it's just not going to work it's a gimmick it's a youtube gimmick you know if you look go look all these big big youtube 
they want they make a, a super shelter with a little wall around it and everything like what's that's going to do i mean honestly what's that going to do it makes no sense to me you know maybe i'm seeing this wrong but to me it don't make a lack of a lick of sense making a three wall shelter so that the the weather and everything can get to you and you're gonna be laying in it and it, it's i don't think it's worth it i mean i really don't think it's worth it i think it's a waste of time calories energy material four walls a roof with a heat source cooking source inside is what you need I don't care how cool these superstructures look with their little bitty walls wrapped around them and their fire pit in there so they can cook. I mean, when it's in a downpour, you're going to get out there and try to cook in a downpour? Do you think that it's going to keep you warm in a downpour when you when the fire goes out and you're setting in your little super shelter? Because it looks cool and everybody else is doing it. Is that going to keep you warm? Is it going to keep your family warm? Is that going to keep the elements off of you? The weather, the, the insects, the snow, the rain, everything? To me, it just don't make sense. Super shelters are a waste of time. It's a YouTube gimmick. That's my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Would you... Would you guys build, would you take a couple of days to build a three-wall super shelter? Or would you take time to build four walls, a roof, and have a heat source inside so you can stay dry, your family can stay dry, your gear can stay dry? You don't have to worry about it. I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments on this. But in the meantime, guys, I hope everybody has a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.